Okay, guys, red alert! Red alert! Red, red alert! Red alert! Red alert! This is high alert! This is high alert! My golden command on red sky was gone! You guys see that? You guys see where my mouse is at? You guys see where my cursor is, is currently having a stroke? My golden command on red sky was removed. The same thing with my golden scout, although I think that was more of a glitch. But, all of a sudden, my Golden Commando and Red Scout are gone. I still have the Golden Commando equipped in my towers thing, but the thing is that if I unselect that tower, congratulations, it is gone for forever, just like the Golden Scout. So, you know what, for Revenge Row, I'm going to be placing down Rail Gunners on the ground with some cool new hacks I just bought from www.robux.com slash robux and I bought it for $4.95 I got 500 robux bro and that's how I got these sick cool insane hacks so I'm like in general this is pretty useless if the map you are playing on has like a lot of cliff tower space but even with the map uh like I guess like Borderlands has a lot of cliff tower space. Even with that map, the thing is that you could place down one commander right here and then place down like a lot of rail gunners around it. Versus like Borderlands, um, on those little cliff things, you could probably boost up like only four towers with the commander. While here, you could probably do like around eight or nine. I personally, ha I personally have not yet uh, maxed that out yet. But I'm gonna be doing my regular Golden Commando deck load out, and then I'll come back when I'm like you know almost ready to start spamming rail gunners on the ground okay i'm gonna go place down some rail gunners i guess now this is gonna be epic bros all right guys it's gonna be super duper epic all right bros i got my hacks working no, i'm just joking i'm not using hacks it's, it, it, it's actually a glitch but i'm not gonna tell you how to perform a glitch uh so it, i have a going counter but it says placing rail gunner and it, it's gonna work on the ground i'm gonna place it right here i guess uh, a bit more back. Okay, I'm gonna place it right here, I guess. Yeah, right here is probably a better spot. Bam! Turn to Rogner. So, uh, I know that I said Golden Commando, but it was not at all a Golden Commando. It was a Rail Gunner. So, uh, there we go. Our first little Rail Gunner on the ground placement. That is, uh, I'm like, it makes more sense for it to go on the ground than it does in going to Glyph, because look at the bipod, bro. Look at that. That is hot. Alright, just did it again. And proceed to place it right there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade these use to the sentries. I should see the next gen warfare because you know why not? Look at that. <laughs> that looks stupid right there. My god. Uh, I didn't call him on because I am struggling just a tad bit, but now I shouldn't be struggling. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty juicy right there. Huh? Oh, cool. Cool. I can still place on one more tower. Uh, can I place down one right there? Hold on. Let's see the commander range. I don't think I can place one right here. I don't think there's enough space. It looks like they, there should be enough space, like just enough space, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna chance this sure, man. Boy, I lied. I placed, I placed down another cheese commando because um, I didn't want to. Sorry, thing cut out. Okay, so I placed down another cheese commando because I did not want to get rushed by a bunch of stealth bosses. But I think I'm now a bit more comfortable. But man, it looks pretty sick. Uh, I think around wave. 40 is when I'm gonna place down more rogue gunners because I need to farm as much po much as possible because I don't have DJ. I have replaced the DJ with the commander, and uh, I was gonna take out Golden Commando and replace it with the regular commando and just do commando and rogue gunner spam, but um, I cannot take out the Golden Commando because Planet removed that, so I'm pretty much screwed and I was left to resort to this. Uh, I'm gonna make this max, I guess. Because the only problem here is just stealth detection, because Rogue Gunners cannot detect stealth. And that's pretty much the only threat there is. Uh, I'm pretty much good now. I think I can sell this Golden Commando. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell that one. Cool. Okay, I'm going to place down another Rail Gunner. Oh, wait. I forgot. I got to perform the hacks, bro. Okay, I'm going to place down a Rail Gunner like right here. And it should give me that Commander bonus. I'm going to take a look. Yup, it gave me that commander bonus. Nice. Just barely, barely making it, man. Barely making it. Holy crap. I think I just shot the stealth dude with the rail gunner. I'm not sure. I'm going to look back on that footage in Sony Vegas. I think I did just shoot that when I was upgrading that. Okay. You guys want to see something cool? I'm going to place down something really cool, guys. Okay, uh, I was going to place down something really cool, but then I started to lose a bit. Okay, I need to buy an airstrike because uh, I don't have a motor, and that's what I typically bring out in order to deal with this little lag plus right here because golden commandos don't do a good job in objective lag pull 
Because Golden Commandos don't do a good job on that because, um, because, well, Tyralis is pretty poor at, uh, dealing with the... I don't know, I guess zombie movement, I guess, and it just builds up lag, and Golden Commando does so much damage that it starts to lag under death, and it just struggles on, like, normal zombies, and it shouldn't be doing that, but it does, so. <laughs> so stupid. Oh look, you can actually see the turret platform because it's, it's on a cliff, but that looks so stupid <laughs> for a Golden Commander to be right there. I was going to place it in this little tower thingy, but it wouldn't get the Commander bonus, so... Uh, oh wait, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to place one right here and just have no Commander bonus to it. I don't think it'll matter too much. That's the ultimate camper right there. That's the ultimate camper you'll meet on Phantom Forces, bro. I still didn't sell all my farms, by the way. I still have five farms, so I didn't max out my towers whatsoever. Uh, when Wave 38 comes, sure, man, I'll do that. But for now, it doesn't matter. I need to get as much cash as I can, bro. My uh, dude over there is doing okay. Got some max Zeds. And he's calling me a hacker. Nope, bro, this is, this is just me getting revenge on planet for for removing Golden Scout from me, Red Scout from me, and now Golden Commando from me. Uh, I also had the Archer before, but I'm going to be honest with you, bros. That tower sucks, so I didn't care to make a, uh, a video on that. It's just garbage. I'm so glad I brought the, uh, the uh, Commander instead of the uh, DJ, because I shred through things so fast with the 50% fire rate but if I had both the DJ and the commander that would be a 70% fire rate increase and I would pretty much just be demolishing uh, the cool thing about this is that I can place down a lot of rail gunners around the commander versus like normally you you wouldn't be able to do that so yeah okay wave 38 I'm going to sell my farms I'm going to keep a couple I'm going to keep a lot of golden camels around because I know that the Rail Gunners uh, can't kill the Void alone. The thing is that the Rail Gunners will survive because of the Void Stomp. And since there's so many next to Commander, uh, it's going to get all that juicy bonus. So I'm going to go do my little thing that I usually do to place down Rail Gunners on the ground. Uh, one, two. That out. Oh crap, the boss force is pushing a bit too much. I'm gonna call an airstrike on Izuzo because I don't like that spam building up. Uh, call of arms? Come on, bro. No? Okay. Uh, boss force is gonna get shredded and call of arms. Uh, I wonder how my friend's doing. He's doing, um, he's doing okay, I guess. He's doing a lot better than me. That's because he, he has Zed's okay. Uh, a lot of juicy money right there. Three. Four. By the way, Rail Gunners don't get stunned by the Void, despite them being on the ground, which is very weird. And then finally, the uh, fifth one. I honestly don't know if I can defeat the Void with this type of stuff. There's a lot of mysteries. I don't remember that uh, there are many, that many mysteries being there. Okay, cool. So now I can play normally. Look at how many uh, Rail Gunners are there. That is seven Rail Gunners. No, wait, eight Rail Gunners. My bad. Eight Rail Gunners that are charged by the Commander. You would usually not get that uh, with like regular cliff tower placement because there's like no map in the game where there's like a big ass cliff, you know, and the commander just fits in there so nicely. I'm actually doing a pretty bad job though. I think he's gonna, yeah, I think, yeah, he's gonna lose. Yeah, he um, doesn't have motors. Yeah, th that's the problem with his loadout is that he doesn't have any motors. Nice. Well, uh, at least I'm doing good hell. <laughs> Look at that, that is a beast right there, look at that. That is hot. That is hot right there. Uh, I don't think he's gonna die to the synth stuff, but more of just to avoid, because he's not doing much damage with it. He does have phasers though, so he does have that going on for him. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell this gold, yeah, I'm gonna sell that gold panel. And I guess I'm gonna place out another rail gunner. Okay, place it right there. There we go, now we're juicy, now we gotta rely on the commander's ability to do the call of arms, EPC, and also airstrike, because uh, I I normally would have already gone halfway through his health. He, on the other hand, he's still struggling with the Guardians, and now he's finally going to lock on to the Void with the phasers. The phasers are good, but, you know, they get triggered by the uh, Void Stomp, so that's why I don't like using the phaser a whole lot. 
Uh, I think I maxed out my tower. Yep, I maxed out my towers. All of my towers are affected by the commander, by the way, which is not usual because you wouldn't be able to do that with cliff towers and normal towers. You wouldn't normally be able to do that. Just funny how uh, there's one going commando just on a, just on a cliff tower space. So, uh, what's weird though is that it still gets affected by the uh, void despite being on the cliff. That's very, very weird. I was like, um, it shouldn't be affected because you know it's on a cliff. I thought that towers would only get affected by the void if um, it was on the ground, but no, it it, do it doesn't matter if it. If it's a cliff tower, it's not going to get phased, but if it's a ground tower, despite it being on the cliff, it's going to get phased, which I found very stupid, but at the same time, it shouldn't really matter because no one really does this glitch, so yeah. Okay, there we go, 300 damage, while raw gunners are still going to work. Uh, I think he's doing more damage than me. Yeah, he's doing a lot more damage, but then that void stomp came in and it just ruined everything for him. Nice. Uh, I think I might lose because... Uh, well, normally I would just spam golden. Nice, nice, and a stupid ass stun thing just ruins it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be uh, selling a command. Okay, I mean, damn it, I lost my. Uh, okay, I thought that I would be, I thought I would be able to place on a commander right there. And, you know, always get that little bonus. Okay, cool. So, spam APCs and then spam airstrikes. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Come on, yeah, place on an airstrike. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to turn up my volume. Okay, that should sound a bit more better, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, 130 damage. Yeah, his void is almost near dead. Uh, mine is nowhere near that crap. Okay, you know what? Rail gunners are poor choice. I'm going to go sell rail gunners and start frantically placing them with max bowling medals. Rail gunners are garbage. Rail gunners suck. I'm like, you can't win with them, but it's just that you would have to uh, spam them a lot. I think I might lose, because I've done this already too late. Let us see. Uh, come on, Max Gold Manos. Do your work. Do your work. Come on, Calm Arms. Come on, APC. Come on, Airstrike. Come on. Damn it, I, I'm trying to click. Uh, yeah, I lost. There's no way in hell I can do that much. Yeah, I lost. I expected Railgunner to do so much better, but no, it was, uh, it was, it was garbage. I think I could have won if I used a uh, Sleeter in the Flamethrower Slowdown, but that was generally about it. Imagine that, uh, playing all the way to, to Wave 38, and you only get five credits. Imagine, imagine that. Wow, that is, uh, pretty sad right there. You play for, like, an hour. I mean, you play for, like, 20 minutes just to only get five credits. That is a very terrible process right there. Nice. So sad right there.